guys, it's Kathy. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how I organize our homeschool room. Right, guys, before I get started, I just want to say hello and welcome. If this is your first time stopping by, hi, my name is Kathy. I'm a homeschool mama of two little girls, and I love sharing all things homeschool, motherhood, and lifestyle, sprinkled in some fun DIYs. Um, if you like the kind of content, I would love it if you would like this video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell because I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. All right, guys, as you can see behind me, we have a new organization system in our homeschool room. We've actually moved homeschool rooms. We were in a different room in the house. Now we're taking over another room, our guest room, which was is like twice the size as the other room that we were in. But we didn't have a lot of guests all the time, so I was like, let's get the homeschool playroom over in here so that we can have some space. I'm in the process of switching everything over and redecorating and organizing everything, but so far I've already got this system organized and I wanna share that with you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first thing, this is the Collax system from Ikea. I have been waiting and waiting for the 4x4 to be in stock because I wasn't going to pay for shipping um, and it wasn't. So I ended up having to get the 2x2 two two, and I just put them together. So that's the system that we're using. I added doors and drawers and I'll show you those in a second. But this is kind of how we have everything. I just put some of our larger things up top. We have um, our abacus and like a little ABC flip thing and that little kitty toy, which probably is going to be able to be given away really soon because um, yeah, we just don't really use that too much. Um, up top so far, all I have up here is, this is just my current planner. So I have everything um, I know what we're doing for the week that's up there. Next over here in this cubby, I just have all of our really beautiful books here. This book collection here of all these classics. Over on this side, I just have our poetry from Shel Silverstein, which I don't even know if this is going to stay here, but I may add like other collections up here. But so far that's what's there. And then in this next bin here, just things that we use pretty often. Here's just an extra bin of um, coloring pencils and crayons and markers. And then this is our sticker bin right here, just full of stickers. I need to change these out for some clear ones. I need to go make a target run and I'll show you the clear bins that I am using. There, I'm down at the bottom already. So I need to change those out. And then I'll go ahead and start back over here on this drawer here or this door when you open this up this is just our curriculum that we're going to use for next year so our, I've already purchased our math curriculum for next year and then um, this is the planner that we're going to use for next year It's the simple plan planner I had just posted a flip through of this if you want to see the inside of that um, I'll link that up top so that's all that's in that drawer and then over in this drawer we have our um, all of our flashcards. These are too big to go into the container. So we have all of our flashcards here. Um, the ones on this side are really kind of for Kennedy, but older and these are more of our like um, pre-K flashcards on that side. And this drawer I believe is empty as of right now, so nothing is in there. Let's just work our way on down. Over here on this one, this cubby, I have all of our kind of like learning games that we use or that we will use. Um, some games have been in my, our morning basket, so I have our games over here. This section over here are kind of like our reference books. So we have our dictionaries, things that we reference, our Bibles, um, Bible books, those are in that cubby there. And then in this bottom bin here, these are all of our kind of like man, man, <laughs> get talk manipulatives for like language arts so um in reading so we have like just some different things to help us with reading abc here's a little like memory game um i need to these are the bins that i've been using right here got these from target so um and you can see in there there's just like tons of little things in there and then we have some like wipe down boards over here and then um down at the bottom on this side we have our math manipulatives we have like our counter blocks, clocks, some shape things, uh, fractions, whatever those little snap together things. We have this little um, Lego type addition thing. And then again, this box here is just full of like different like manipulatives and counters and such. Over 
on, let's see, this side, um, in this drawer. This is just kind of my drawer of just extra things or things that I use. So I have my hole punch, some tape, um, just like rings, staplers, some highlighters, things that I kind of use just for mommy business <laughs> for school. And then this drawer is just a bunch of extra things. So I have extra card, um, flash card holders. We have some, uh, what are those, index cards, extra scissors, extra glue, extra pencils, color pencils. Um, grip pencils, crayons, just thin glue sticks, erasers, or whatever that is. Extra things are in there. And then down here, we have all of our kind of like activity books, coloring books, um, activity pads so that they can grab something, sticker pads, just things that they just want to like color and um, just have like little just time to do quick activities or brain busters and that kind of thing. We have that all in that department. And then down below, we have all of our arts and crafts things. Um, you can see right here in the front, we just have a bunch of like modeling clay. I have different things, colors of modeling clay. And then we have, um, there's some bins. I need to get some more, put these in those bins. But there, here's just like craft supplies, googly eyes, um, puffs, wire, whatever those things, pipe, I called them pipe cleaners in my day, but they're called some Chanel sticks or something now. Um, this is like of all, all of our paint stuff. So we have a lot of our paints. We have like some um, oil pencils there. And then down here we have, what's that? We have like a lot of our like um, wood painting pieces and like puffy stickers, like kind of activity things right here. So this is our arts and craft bin. Um, we have a random safety or clothespin sitting out we have some Mod Podge or yeah Mod Podge and some shrinky dink over there um this next cubby here oh here let me go back to the top all right so up here we just like I said this is just random things I have to change those out this compartment here it's just a bunch of extra papers notepads so we have a lot of a uh, little like quick and easy like little booklets that they can write in so you have like things like that in there. Notebook paper, binders, composition books, um, construction paper, that kind of stuff is in here. And then down here, we have like supplemental cur uh, curriculum type things. So we have um, morning starter books that we may use if we need little worksheets, um, just like different little things that they can do if we just need some little supplemental stuff. Um, we bought this book, actually Damien bought this book for Kennedy and we've never used it, but I know a lot of people use this book to teach your kids to read. Um, and then we have like our, all of our Mad Lib books that we've been using and then our Bob books here. And then down here, this is just where I keep their portfolios. So this is Kennedy's last year portfolio. And then here are their portfolios for this year. And then, um, I just have some of the things that we, um, Oh, I have our curriculum that we've already completed down here. So Aria has already completed the pre-K. So that course book is down there. And these are just extra folders and just an empty little crayon box. That's it. That is everything that we have in our little system here. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll have a full homeschool room tour video up soon. But until then, head over to Instagram, hang out with us there. I share things on the daily, more fun homeschool tips and motherhood inspiration over there on the page. Love this kind of content. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell because I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.